Intersection of a line with a plane. There are three situations. First, the line intersects the plane at a single point. Or the line lies in the plane. Number three, this time the line which is parallel to the plane but uh, not lies in the plane. This line is parallel to the plane. If not, uh, if this line is slightly slanting, eventually the line will intersect the plane also. So the line and the plane are parallel. Now look at the first situation. In this case, if you solve the simultaneous equation of the equation, you will have only one solution, or unique solution. The second case, if you solve the, solve the simultaneous equation, and you have you will have infinite number of solutions because there are many intersection here. Then the last one, if you solve the simultaneous equation, uh, you will find out there is no solution. Sound familiar, right? Huh? Unique solution, infinite number of solution, and no solution. Yes, yeah, see, yeah, have you seen this word before in matrix? Now, this question, we want to find the intersection point. You have the equation of the line and equation of the plane. As usual, we want, if we want to find the intersection, we solve the simultaneous equation. And you can find out the value of t. So now, this is unique solution. Huh? Only one value. So in this case, if you substitute t equal to negative 4 to equation of the line, then you get the point, the position vector here. So this is the point of intersection. Question number 2. Now we want to determine whether the line lines in the plane or not. As usual, we still solve the simultaneous equation. To do so, first we convert the Cartesian equation into vector equation and then we solve the simultaneous equation. So carry out the dot product. You will have the equation like this. So, how to solve this? Now I want to ask you, is this a unique solution or no solution? Actually, it has infinite number of solution. Oh, you cannot say no solution because if you substitute t with 1, it fulfills the equation. Or t with 2, t with 3, any number. So we say there are infinite number of solution. So in this case, the line and the plane actually had infinite number of intersection point because the line actually lies in the plane. So our conclusion is the line is lines in the plane. Now, question number three. We want to determine whether this line intersects the plane or not. So as usual, uh, we want to solve the simultaneous equation, we change the Cartesian equation into vector equation first, and then we carry out the dot product. So 
So your answer like this. The left and right not the same, not equal. So in this case, can we say this is unique solution or infinite number of solution or no solution? So in this case, you just cannot find any value of t that can fulfill the equation. So it is not unique and not infinite number of solution. In this case, there's no solution. So if no solution, so there's no intersection point between the line and the plane. In this case also, the line must be parallel but not lies in the plane. So our conclusion to answer this question is the line does not intersect the plane.